Welcome back to News Nation. We've been following breaking news all morning, uh, following the release of those hostages by Hamas and the exchange of prisoners that had been held by Israel returning to Palestine. President Biden just spoke moments ago and broke down what he said was only the start of what will continue to be a process until every hostage is home. My colleague Kelly Meyer is in Washington, D.C., and she has been following this as well. Kelly, I know that you just heard the remarks from the president uh, clear pithy remarks. Uh, he did not go on and on, but he made the position clear. What was your takeaway, Kelly? Yeah, Nick, I think he went into first, you know, the work that he's been doing to bring these hostages home, saying he's been consistently working on this, even as this morning engaged with his team on this process. He said, quote, it's going well so far. He also made a note that they will know the numbers included in the second round of hostage releases. Uh, they don't know their names just yet, but they said they will get some of the numbers in the next hour or so, he said. So that was notable. Uh, he made a note of the two American American women and one child saying her name, Abigail, uh, who turned four years old today, uh, saying that he hopes they are included uh, in these uh, hostage releases over the next several days, uh, as he has been calling it, saying that this is just the start of the process. Again, uh, wa wa walking us through uh, what he says has been an ongoing calls with leaders uh, in the Middle East. He also talked about looking towards the future beyond uh, this war, again, calling for a two-state solution, saying, quote, it's more important now than ever. He was also asked about the number of civilian casualties, adding that he encouraged Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel to, quote, limit the number of casualties as he tries to defeat Hamas, which he did call a legitimate objective. But he added that there is pressure, including from the Arab world, to bring this war to an end, which he hopes they can see. But in the meantime, he again brought it back, focused on the hostage release, uh, as he is hoping to see more Americans be released over the next several days. He added that he's been asking for a pause like this uh, consistently to make sure that these hostages can get out and humanitarian aid can get in. And he mentioned, of course, the Thanksgiving holiday, uh, saying that they, he is thankful that this first group of uh, hostages will return to their families, and he's hopeful uh, that more will return to their families in the coming days. Nick? Kelly, I also thought it was interesting, too, that Mr. Biden was quick to point out, it, you could tell that he was thinking this through. He said, listen, I don't have uh, proof of what I'm about to say, but I believe this is all tied to the timing of the dipl diplomacy I was engaging with uh, with the Arab nations and uh, plans that I wanted to move forward with, with not only a pipeline, but a rail or transportation system that could uh, connect the countries together. And because Mr. Biden he was hesitant in saying this, but he talked about how because he had been seemed to be making progress in that area, this strike happened um, as a way of distracting or as a way to continue to build uh, these tensions or distrust. Kelly, we also heard a reporter uh, in that gaggle ask, hey, you know, this deal is going forward, Mr. Biden, but do you trust Hamas? And he was quick and clear. And Mr. Biden said unequivocally, um, no, I do not trust Hamas to do anything right. I only trust them to respond to pressure, Kelly. And I thought that was interesting. And I think that's something that we've been hearing out of the administration is that it really is wait and see. And it's not until the very moment when they see those hostages cross into freedom that they will believe that they are in safe hands and that these Americans are out and on their way back. I think that's why they've been so careful to go into more detail. Even the president yesterday when he was asked on Thanksgiving saying, I don't want to say anything. I'm not prepared to give any detail until we know that they are out. And I think that's them uh, and the level of trust that they have for Hamas. But as he said, I don't trust Hamas, but I do trust that they respond to pressure. And this is the pressure that has been building on them to make sure that these hostages uh, get out. And I think it was interesting, as you mentioned, the first thing there, um, how he said he was working towards peace oh, in the Middle East, uh, working with Saudi Arabia, uh, working with Israel. Um, you know, I think that was an interesting moment. I don't think we've heard something like that uh, out of the administration yet on reasoning why this October 7th attack happened. We haven't heard a lot about looking back. It's all, a lot about looking forward in this moment. Um, so I thought that was a very notable moment from the president as well. And again, that he was quick to uh, preference that by saying, 
I don't have proof of this, but this is what I believe, uh, so as to almost couch that uh, cautiously so that as they learn more, as they move forward, he could possibly walk that back if need be. Kelly, Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.